Okay, so it's me, guys, uh, Shinsei. I'm a Twitch streamer with uh, crappy quality. Uh, this time, I'm gonna show you my settings for Arma 3 Alpha uh, that just got uh, uh, released. Uh, basically, I'm doing this because a lot of I have a lot of friends, a lot of people that are asking me and uh, complaining. Uh, that they cannot run uh, Arma with uh, sufficient frames uh, they have problems with lagging and stuff like that even on high-end computers I had a I had a case where uh, especially uh, one said I, he had like i7 he had one of the AMD's uh, RT best one of the best uh, graphics cards that just got released and he said uh, that with uh, the settings in game uh, in Arma, he cannot even uh, reach like uh, 30 frames, 40 frames, and that uh, basically he's having a lot of issue. Okay, so first thing you need to guys know, uh, this is Alpha. Uh, the game might get improved, but do remember this is Arma 3 uh, engine. So yeah, you you can expect that uh, in this game it's not everything perfect and even when the original gets released uh, some people will probably still have issues with frames and stuff like that um, okay uh, the second thing I want to say always upgrade your graphics uh, drivers go to the website uh, is it uh, Nvidia or Ati or whatever download the setting I mean the the latest drivers install them make sure everything is uh, comp the way it should be uh, there is one problem with some of the graphics cards, especially NVIDIA GTX uh, 500 series. Uh, basically, your uh, display driver crashes and you get notified. Uh, uh, that is because uh, GTX uh, 500 graphics cards, especially the overclocked one, factory overclocked one, have problems with voltage. So, make sure uh, if you're crashing with the, those kinds of cards, Make sure you first up. Uh, you need to increase your voltage for a graphics card. Uh, I'm running my my graphics card is GTA X 580. Uh, it is factory overclocked. If I leave it on a normal voltage, my game crashes after like maybe like one minute, five minutes. It depends. But yeah, at the end it always cr crashed. So I had to up my uh, voltage by about 50. Uh, so you can use, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I think it's uh, XVGA Precision X or something. Uh, it's a nice tool, but yeah, you can find it on, uh, on the net. Just Google it. Okay, so let's start with options. Let's go to video. So basic, uh, display mode, full screen, uh, whatever you like. If you prefer uh, playing in window, play in window, just select window, it doesn't matter. Uh, you could actually get uh, extra frames if you run in uh, windowed mode, but I kind of always hated playing games in uh, windowed mode. It just irritates me, so I'm playing in full screen. So next one is resolution. I'm running my resolution, my game, uh, Arma 3, uh, with uh, 1920 by 1200, which is pretty high resolution for this game. And because of my resolution is so high, I can always expect that I'm gonna get a bit less frames than those people playing with lower l resolution. I always try to keep my resolution the same as monitor's resolution, max resolution, because that's usually the best uh, for your graphics card. And uh, yeah, it, it works basically. Aspect ratio, mine is custom. Uh, custom is because I'm using a modified uh, version of file with foe, uh, which is pretty big and uh, stretches my uh, image a little bit more uh, to the left and right side uh, so I can see a lot more interface size uh, you can set it up the way you like it whatever okay so the biggest thing here in basic is visibility overall you don't need more than 1500 1500 so overall should be 
1000 to 1500 that's all you need you need more than that if you want to max it if you want to spot like let's say vehicles pretty pretty far away uh, maybe choppers in the air that are coming but in general you don't need more than 1500 because uh, basically you won't kill anyone at uh, uh, ranges beyond 1500 maybe with snipers uh, as a sniper but even that that's a hard one Object, leave it the way it is, I guess. Uh, I have it uh, at 11.19. Uh, shadow is uh, at 50. Basically, I uh, uh, lowered it completely as much. Even though my shadow is turned off, I still, the, under visibility, I lowered the shadow, just in case. Okay, that's about it for basic. Uh, now let's move to rendering. Here's the important thing. The first thing I'm going to say, rendering resolution. It has to match your monitor resolution. Uh, basically, uh, it has to match your uh, resol resolution in basic. So it has to say 100 at the end. Uh, that is because you can actually up this and you're gonna get extra, extra eye candy. At least in my case, whatever. But 100 is all you need. If you have a lot of problems, maybe you can lower the rendering resolutions, but that's usually crappy graphics, uh, crappy eye candy, and I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, always keep it at 100. The second thing, most important one in all the games, this goes for every game out there. If it has VSync enabled, always disable. It doesn't matter which game, disable vsync it's it's gonna eat a lot of your gpu resources so i always keep it the first thing i do in the game go to video option tip 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 i uh, disable vsync vsync and post processes I, it's always disabled to, uh, in my case okay so here hdr quality uh, I have it at low. anti optic filtering, this is ultra, this is always uh, max in every game for me. Uh, it doesn't eat a lot of GPU, uh, but objects and other details at far, far, far away from you will look a lot more smoother. It's gonna have smoother corners. So anti optic filtering AF is uh, all pretty important for me. Uh, because I like to see objects that are pretty far away as uh, detailed as possible. Next thing is anti-aliasing. In my case, I have anti-aliasing at two times. That's just so I have extra uh, better shape of items, uh, objects. It's rounded a little bit better. So, uh, if you know what you mean. Um, that's all you need, two times, it's all good. Uh, this is basically set up for multiplayer settings uh, for shooting people and stuff like that. Uh, PPA, FXAA standard, that's all you need. It's gonna uh, be uh, uh, with uh, anti-aliasing. It's gonna make objects a lot more crisp. A talk, all trees plus grass. Um, yeah, uh, that's kind of important for me as well because I want to see uh, stuff like that uh, a bit more detailed, especially if let's say uh, an player is hiding behind a tree bush. I want to see as much detailed as possible so I can actually spot the enemy. Uh, you can turn if you have want extra uh, frames. You can uh, turn attack off. Uh, you can turn anti-aliasing off while gaining extra FPS. That if you if you need um, post processes that's one of the big issues always disable quality disable why because I don't like when I play if processes are is on everything is freaking blurry uh, it's not the way I'm used to gaming uh, in general and also post process will eat a lot and I do mean a lot of your GPU Picture in picture, disabled of course, pip, disabled, you don't need that one. Dynamic lights, low, you don't need more than that. Uh, let's move to quality. 
texture quality is ultra. I want uh, textures to be crisp as uh, possible. Object quality is standard. You can lower that to to low or whatever. Terrain quality is low as well. Uh, I don't need more than that. Uh, I could up that one uh, to ultra uh, if I wanted, but for my purposes, for uh, playing uh, with other players and trying to be the best and uh, trying to get the best responses uh, to spot other enemies as soon as possible, that is low. Cloud quality disabled, I don't need clouds. Shadow quality disabled, I don't need any shadows, it only disturbs me. Uh, I want to compete with the best, so this is always disabled. Particle quality is standard, that's all you need. Uh, for explosions you can maybe you can increase that one but it's not really the need for that so that's that's about it um, with these settings uh, I'm using about 40% uh, CPU 40% uh, uh, GPU uh, and if I wanted to, I could play everything uh, on Ultra with uh, frames above 30%. I mean with uh, frames above 30, but whatever. So, here's another tip, guys. Uh, even with these settings, uh, you might not have the best uh, frames, but as long as you can uh, maintain them above 30, uh, it's pretty good uh, for single missions. About 30, 30 is fine. Uh, for single player, uh, for multiplayer, I would recommend if you can push it, uh, push the frames above 40. That's enough, I would say. It could be better, but you know, for our purposes, it's fine. We want to maximize as much as possible. Uh, the second tip I would like to give you: uh, remember, guys, in Arma, uh, the engine is completely different from other games. Uh, a lot of problems with the FPS is because of the 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 host uh, that runs the server. Uh, if the server is not good enough, you will have crappy frames. If the mission or the map or whatever is not uh, optimized the way it should be, you're gonna have crappy frames. Just check one some of the missions. Some missions are made great and can run with the, like I can run them with uh, 40 to 60 70 frames but on some occasions I can uh, load up a uh, let's say a mission and that mission is gonna completely destroy my frames I have seen uh, cases where it dropped basically to like below 10 but yeah so frames are really dependent a lot on servers uh, not so much on your graphics card and CPU, but yeah. Uh, with these settings, as I said, I think uh, I run like everything on 40%, 40% CPU, 40% GPU. So if I want it, I can still up for eye candy, especially if I'm recording something. Uh, I want extra visibility, extra whatever, you know. Like, I want to enjoy in nature, I want to look at the rabbits and stuff like that. Um, these settings should uh, go great uh, after be in beta as well, in uh, original release. I know that uh, I'm using the same settings in Arma 2, which is giving me a lot, a lot of frames. I have friends with i7, best graphics card, blah blah blah, complaining, and after using my uh, settings uh, he he was able to gain above 40 to up to 80 frames with no problem I had a person with a uh, laptop uh, using my uh, my setups uh, basically configuration he said uh, that it's uh, a lot better that it's, it's huge improvement and I have a lot of people uh, asking me for this uh, uh, settings so here it is um, I think I didn't forget anything. I hope not. But yeah, in general. Um, also, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is gonna be my first YouTube video on my completely new account under uh, Shinsei Yama name. 
since I'm a Twitch uh, streamer, I wanted to start completely fresh with everything. Make sure to check my website from time to time if you like, follow, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, enjoy the game. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, put it in comments, and I will, if I will be, if it's gonna be possible. Sorry, holy shit. Uh, if it's gonna be possible, I'm gonna uh, help you as much as I can. But yeah, that would be it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Check my uh, website, uh, my YouTube. Follow and have a nice day or night. See ya.